YouTube, YouTube, it's all in hand. Today I'm going to show you how to get Kodi 16 on your iOS device with no jailbreak and no computer. But quickly, I'd like to just mention the horrible attack that has happened in Manchester, mainly because I grew up in and around Manchester for most of my life and I moved away from there not too long ago and to wake up and see this is just horrible. Children, 22 people have died, over 50 seriously injured and I just would like to say that my thoughts are with all the victims and the families and friends. If you'd like to leave a comment to show your love please do so and share the video and we can have our own little iOS community to show our support, love and respect. Okay, so for Kodi 16, which is good news because you've not been able to get Kodi on an iOS device without a computer for a long time, we need to use Tutu Helper. If you don't have Tutu, as usual, link in the description. Uh, another video showing you how to get Tutu and the link to where to get it from itself. So we open Tutu. Spotify Plus Plus is in here. I know people have been after that and have been having trouble with that recently as well. That's now back and all working. So we just go up to search at the top. And in the search bar, you just want to type Kodi, hit search. And it's the only one there. It is Kodi 16, as they tweeted earlier to let me know. And you hit get. Let it download onto your device and you should get an install pop-up at the end straight away. There we go, hit install, go back to your home screen. You can hit cancel here if you get another one, it's not a problem. And then just wait for it to install on your device. There we go. Now when you go to open it, the untrusted developer, as you can see this one says Road and Bridge East China Engineering. So we go over to settings, into general, scroll all the way down, profile and device management, scroll down till we see, there it is, then you hit the blue right in to trust, hit trust in the pop-up, and you can exit out, go back over to Kodi, there we go, it's opened up, my screen stopped recording for a second, I have no idea why. Okay, so as you can see it says using 16.1 stable while 17.1 stable is available, but you just hit OK. Once you hit OK, you have a working version of Kodi on your iOS device. So down the bottom where you have settings, power button, and the favorite star. Sometimes when you first get it, because I've tried this out a couple of times, they're non-responsive to touch. I'm trying to touch them now and it does nothing. So for some reason, as I'm opening and closing Kodi, it's stopping my screen recording, so please do bear with me. So you just back out if the buttons are non-responsive at the bottom. Just close it down in the background, and we will try opening again. So once opened again, as you can see, they're now responsive at the bottom. So into settings, then you've got the square box at the bottom with the lines in. If you tap on that, that's where you go to add your sources and all the good stuff that we all know about with Cody. So yes, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a thumbs up. Remember to leave a comment and share this video to show your support. Thanks again. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you must be. Crazy mother...